Welcome to module number three, the transferable skill. And uh, I'm gonna reveal to you what the most valuable skill you need as an entrepreneur. And you might be thrilled to realize that you already possess that skill. You really just need to learn to transfer it. Now I chose this image that you see here because it shows a man looking over a metropolis, kind of as if he owned it. And to me, it symbolizes how people with this special quality or mentality see the world as their oyster. And they basically say, the world is my playground. So Adriana, would you kindly tell us what that special quality is, please? My pleasure. The transferable skill we're talking about is leadership. And I actually love the concept of leadership because I've been learning all about it over the past few weeks. Let me share a little story with you. Very recently, we welcomed a puppy into our home and my kids absolutely adore him. His name is Django. Here's a picture of him. Anyway, Django is a male, and naturally I've been reading and practicing ways to discipline him so he grows up to be a good dog. My favorite show to watch is Caesar Malen, the dog whisperer. And in one of his episodes, Caesar had a lady who was actually a teacher who said she was able to manage a classroom full of kids, but couldn't get her dog to listen to her. Long story short, Caesar pays her a visit and teaches her how to get her dog to voluntarily get in the car without being forced. The first thing she said when she successfully did it herself was she couldn't believe it was just like dealing with the kids in her classroom. No different. Yeah, that truly is incredible. I remember watching that episode with you and realizing that be being a leader is um, something that crosses so many barriers and it can be used in so many situations. Now the best thing is that to be a leader doesn't mean you have to be a colonel in the army or the principal of a high school. There are various levels of leadership. You can be, for example, a school teacher or even a parent who exercises leadership skills. Now one thing I have noticed from uh, networking with other online marketers is that those who have had success in the corporate world or maybe uh, owned a successful brick and mortar business, they have a natural tendency to succeed a little bit easier and a little bit faster due to their previous leadership experience. Wow, that's really interesting because sometimes those offline businesses have nothing to do with being an online marketer, right? Exactly. and. It's not about relevant work experience, it's about possessing uh, leadership qualities. So if you have been fortunate enough to be in a position of authority in the past, maybe you were a manager or even an executive, you do have a unique advantage. Now people in law enforcement and martial arts, for example, they have two distinct advantages in developing not only leadership, but also tremendous discipline as well. So what about the rest, Jose? the people who have never been in a position of leadership or authority before, how can they learn to become leaders themselves? It's a great question. Well, I honestly believe that mentoring does make a difference and that's the reason you and I put together all this training to share with our students and to build them up as leaders as well. Now, I'd say that the best way to become a leader is to be personally mentored by one. So in other words, to be an apprentice. Kind of like in Star Wars. Exactly, you took the words right out of my mouth. So, what would this module be without a life lesson from Star Wars, right? So, as you know, Luke Skywalker was mentored by Obi-Wan Kenobi, who was mentored by Qui-Gon Jinn, who was mentored by the one and only Master Yoda. So, the good news is that you can become a leader by having a leader. That's right. And even though Obi-Wan Kenobi started as an apprentice, he soon became the master with an apprentice of his very own. So in essence, the student becomes the teacher. And that's really what leadership is all about. I definitely agree. So before heading into module four, we're going to leave you with a list of valuable skills that most leaders possess. So even if your leadership experience is in the corporate world, or in general labor force, you can still use these skills to build a very strong business. Things like responsibility and accountability, discipline, 
um, time management, analytical skills, coaching skills, public speaking, conducting team meetings, and project management. Yeah, that is a great list. A true leader does lead by example. Now, we're going to uh, leave you with this, and uh, in the next module, we're going to tell you the number one thing that leaders do to get results that others don't. And this is the kind of results that you want in your business, definitely. And that's coming right up.